In 1994, Sonic Knuckles for the Sega Genesis pushed the series forward to make Sonic the Hedgehog a respectable competitor to Nintendo's Mario. Over the two decades that followed, the Sonic series was never able to recapture that magic through over a dozen attempts on many different platforms. The early beloved Sonic games never received the proper sequel they deserved. Now, Sonic Mania is trying to turn back the clock and right those wrongs. Sonic Mania is a wonderful love letter to fans who suffered through Sonic's Dark Ages and craved a return to form for the series. This game manages to do just that. It helps that it was actually made by fans. Sonic Mania's development was handled by a collection of people who previously worked on ports of old Sonic games and brought them to modern platforms. Rather than working with existing levels, Sonic Mania gave them a chance to make something new. When the familiar music begins, the first collected ring chimes and the first box of invincibility is smashed, it's difficult to remove the smile from a longtime Sonic fan's face. That's what Sonic Mania does. It reminds those fans why Sonic Knuckles was one of the best platformers of a generation, but doesn't just steal from those past games. It takes the best parts of them while making a new experience entirely. It takes nostalgia and gives a new layer of shine. Sonic Mania looks like a Sonic game plucked straight from the 90s. We've seen games that look like they're from the retro era but something is lost in the gameplay. Sonic Mania feels exactly like the games they're emulating. Sonic, Tails or Knuckles speed, hover and climb through pixelated colorful levels that change up the gameplay just enough to feel fresh but familiar. The game follows the TWO act formula for each zone. This is the same format of Sonic 2, Sonic 3 and Sonic Knuckles, with bosses after each act. Many of these zones are remade versions of levels found in previous games, but the development team put their own spin on them to make them original. For instance, Act 2 of Yerdosity Zone, the zone originally seen in Sonic Knuckles, has a boating section not found in the original. These twists are found throughout the game and breathe new life into levels from the past. Like the best games in the Sonic series, these levels are dense, multi-tiered playgrounds that can be sped through at breakneck speeds, or slowly explored to find hidden areas and secrets. As the Sonic series advanced, levels got longer and more complex, but the pesky 10-minute timer remained. It's still there in Sonic Mania. Once the 10 minutes up, Sonic dies, and the player must start from a recent checkpoint. There isn't much of a reason for players to be under a strict timer other than the fact that it's a tradition in the series. Sonic Mania's levels beg to be explored, and the game's timer is a hindrance against that. Unlocking Super Sonic or Super Knuckles by collecting all of the game's secret Chaos Emeralds has always been the endgame goal of Sonic games, and Sonic Mania continues that tradition. The game's special stages are an aspect that is completely original. Sonic has to catch a UFO holding an emerald before time runs out while collecting rings to extend his time and spheres to increase his speed. He needs speed to catch up, but that makes him harder to control and raises the potential for him to fall off the track. These new special stages might be the best special stages the series has ever seen. They're equal parts fair and fun. For fans of Sonic 3's Sphere Collection stages, those are also back as bonus stages found at checkpoints. There's plenty of value in Sonic Mania's $20 package. There's the core game with its levels, the quest to collect all of the Chaos Emeralds, Sphere Collection special stages to perfect time attack mode to see how fast you can complete stages and there's even a Mean Bean mode that's a nod to the lesser known, Tetris like Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Name the subsection of Sonic Nostalgia, and Sonic Mania checks that box. Anyone who was Team Sega in the 90s remembers the Sonic series fondly. Sonic Mania is tailor-made for this audience. Sonic's first spin dash through a loop of rings brings a wave of nostalgia that Sonic HASNT been able to muster in decades. This game makes up for lost time and reminds gamers why the Blue Blur is one of the most beloved game characters in the medium, 9.5 out of 10.